Take a look at Mus'ab ibn Umair radiyallahu anhu. He was from a very, very wealthy family. He was very spoiled by his parents to the degree that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, I did not know a person who was more spoiled by his mother than Mus'ab. Mus'ab had clothes which were so well laid. He was dressed very well. He was smelt before he was seen. They knew this man and his itr. So before you could see the man, you would smell him. And he was from a very wealthy family, mashallah, looked after and spoiled. When he heard the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he accepted it. When he accepted it, he kept it quiet so his family doesn't know from a very powerful family. And one day, one person saw him reading salah and they went and told his mother, do you know what? This man is fulfilling prayers according to the manner prescribed or taught by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And immediately, all hell broke loose. She went to him, she spoke to him, she threatened him. She, he obviously did not deny the fact. So he was grounded to the home. He, everything was taken away from him. Nothing spent on him until there came a time when he did not have proper clothing to wear. And when his skin, after it had been so soft and well looked after, it had started flaking off. And still to him, that meant nothing. He was so happy that he had had guidance. How many of us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, are ready to sacrifice for our deen? We have it on the plate. No one is holding a sword at our necks. And no one ever holds swords at our necks. We have this on our plate, but still we find it difficult to adopt what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had brought when it comes to some of the smaller items within our lives or sometimes there are major things within our lives that we refuse to surrender to. For example, the laws of inheritance. Many people, no matter how wealthy they are, they tend to forget about what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when it comes to the laws of inheritance, the treatment of women, for example. When it comes to various other matters that don't suit us sometimes, we tend to just throw it away. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who understand and realize.